Come on, in an echo for this one. Two Jurassic World alive. Where it is the dawn of a new era. Fingers crossed. Oh my god, fingers crossed. It's the dawn of a new era. Because if it's not, oh my god. So we have just had the new update. And uh, the splash screen it shows a lovely, pretty uh, Pyroraptor. Uh, much prettier than the one that ended up in Dominion. <laughs> Well, actually, there's so many new things. There's two new hybrids. There's actually this new feature as well called Creature Tracker. One thing I suggested in my last videos or the last two videos I've made on this game was some uh, quality of life updates, something to make the game more fun because within two seconds of opening the game, you're pretty much into battles. And if you don't like battles, well, that sucks. And to be honest, most of the time, battles suck as well. <laughs> Even if you're good at the battles, it's like annoying. Anyway, so this looks like a new, a cool feature. Want to collect more of a certain creature's DNA? Of course we do. We want the hybrids or something you're working towards, uh, but can't find it on the map. Like Albertosaurus, because it's not on the map. Uh, use the creature tracker to track it down. Select which creature you want to track by adding them to the open slot in your tracker menu. Uh, once you've added a creature to an open tracker slot, head to the map. If that creature is available anywhere in your tracker's range on the map, a beacon will appear, leading you right to it. Ah, I like it. So we're incorporating something that was in Pokemon Go. For years! <laughs> uh, except for, you know, you don't choose a specific Pokemon, it just shows you what's near. Uh, creatures eligible for tracking will appear in the eligible creatures list. To be eligible, the creature must be discovered and must be available to collect via the map. Ah! Oh, wait, what, Rexy's already there? Oh, that's interesting. So if I put Rexy in right now, it's probably going to say Rexy's, like, over there, miles away, and I'm not going to be able to go and get it. But, I mean, I put it on. Creature tracker. Okay, okay. I mean, this is Rexy. I'm not expecting uh, miracles here. So if we put, I don't know, Velociraptor on, there it is. Okay, so it'll tell you where it is on the map. Ah. So Rexy's obviously going to be a lot harder to track down. Now, I'm wondering whether it spawns them and it puts them there or whether, like, the game's data is already telling you that they would be there because technically... It should, like, be spawning dinosaurs all over the world all the time. So, Parasaur Lux is one that does appear on the map, and you never know where it is, so that would be a good one. No. Okay. Cool. Sweet. <laughs> so, mainly, if you're looking for a common, you could probably track that down. Anything else? Eh, probably not gonna happen. So... Right, here we go. The meta will have changed now. I'm wondering, did Rexy's- any of Rexy's moves change? Uh, no, okay, but there it is, the Torano Medrodon. This is what we've come here to see. And I have 2,320 Rexy DNA. But we don't have plus Metrodon, level 20. So we're actually going to have to um level this guy up just five more levels and hopefully have enough DNA spare to you know, defuse it. <laughs> Um, but I think I do have a bunch of post metrodon ready to fuse. I have noticed on my, <laughs> my alliance, everyone's now like, I need post, I need post, post -asugus. It's that meme, innit? You don't deserve, you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. <laughs> and that's post because nobody would have died at this. And even I have been guilty of seeing on the map and going, nah. <laughs> but now, <laughs> They got you. <laughs> yes, here it is. Level 20 and I still have 6,600 now. I am kind of curious. Uh, how many fuses can I make of it? I think I can do 200. Hold on, me, me alarm's going off. at the 10 o'clock. So why don't we just fuse, you know, 250 of it? Because why not? We may as well. When do we ever get to do that? And boom. Done. 5,300 DNA. And actually... Before I forget, I will actually go on here uh, because I have a monthly mission, which is 220 of this, which is basically push me over to the max level at the bottom. So now we've got 50 of this. Um, we could actually, if we really needed, oh, and the new skin, uh, really needed more Rexy DNA, we could spend another 34 quid to get 300 Rexy DNA, and as well as loads of other stuff. And to be fair, if you're going to spend money on the game, the premium pass is probably the best way to do it. It's the cheapest way and you get some good DNA, other, other than buying like outright incubators, for instance, with this Rexy, which gives you 400 for like three times the price almost, <laughs> and you don't get any other cool DNA like the uniques and stuff. So let's go back in. Rexy, yes. I know. And if we didn't get a level 30, we would have so much more. 
But, you know, maybe having, like, a Rexy and a Tyranno Metrodon is, you know, is going to be pretty decent. So, I'm, I'm, maybe we'll be able to max this out. Like, 2,320 divided by 50, like 10, 20, 30, 40. It's like 40 pop. Like, yeah, 40? 40 pop? 40 pop? So, yes, we've definitely we've got 400 DNA minimum. Um, and I'm expecting maybe to get, like, 27, 28. I forget. It's not an Apex, so it doesn't start at, like, 26, I think. Unfortunately, we can't do multiple pops right away. But this is technically probably the closest that us as Jurassic fans will ever get to a Spinosaurus. Oh, of course, now we're getting tense. A Spinosaurus and a T-Rex hybrid. I can't see us getting there. I, I mean, I said in my last video there's a T-Rex Spino hybrid. I mean, look at it. It's basically a T-Rex Spino. In fact, technically, maybe it's better. Its snout's actually a little bit longer. Which is interesting. So we, we could, you know, squint and believe that it is a Spino hybrid. It has the sail. It has its T-Rex attributes. It has, it has like what looks like armor on the back. It looks really cool. Um, now, the thing is, I, I, I have a hard time believing that if you had got all your Rexy DNA through legitimate means as in... Yeah, sorry, you didn't spend money on it. Like, you haven't bought incubators. Uh, maybe you maybe you bought the uh, Rexy Sense, because that's probably the best way. Um, I have trouble to believe that you would be able to unlock Tyranno Metrodon without actually buying Rexy. So, this hybrid is technically... I... Oh, for <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> technically, I believe, um, like, a pay-to-win hybrid. 100%. Rexy was... And to get level 30, it definitely was. There's definitely been people who've gotten close to it without buying stuff, I would imagine, who got lucky. Um, but I feel like this one 100% is just the amalgamation of money. <laughs> so we've still got 1,770 Rexy DNA. Um, oh, like I said, we've still got that uh, premium pass and it does give us more. But here it is! Toronto Medford in the flesh! Here we go! Yes! Oh, there it is. Beautiful. It's got, like, stripes down the side of it. It's a bit like Big E.T. from Camp Cretaceous, those. The, the kind of um, off gray and I think some brown there as well. It's actually a lot thicker. If you look at the neck, it's, it's a lot wider. Ooh! Ooh, I like it. This looks awesome. Also, we will get to see Pyraptor because someone... Thankfully, put it in the sanctuary, so we'll be able to uh, see that. So, Tyranno Metrodon, 110 base speed, 1,488 attack, and 3,878 health. I do want to give this a spin. Here it is. Right, I want to look at this move. So, the Tyrant's Roar, which has... I thought it had priority. Oh, it doesn't. So, Rexy is still good. I thought it would have had priority. Unless, if it's threatened, it has priority. So, HP less. It does have priority if you're threatened. Ah, that's the difference. Does it do anything? And it also heals! You heal if you're threatened! What? Not only does it get priority, but you heal yourself. Okay, cool. Um, immobilizing strike. Here we go. So, if if the opponent swaps, you reduce their speed by 100%. You're unable to swap them for two uh, turns, and you also attack them. And attacking them is probably what you're going to go for. Stun, 75%. Again, I hate that. Like, just get rid of it at this point. Because if you get stunned, it's like, oh, for God's sake. Because nothing ever has, like, 100% stun that's used a lot. So, if something gets you when it's got a 66% chance to stun you, and you've got 75% to resist it, <laughs> get rid of it! It's like 1.5% of get it. It's like, it feels bad. 50% damage reduction? That's an odd number. Why so low? Uh, I mean, I assume it's because it's OP with all this speed with decrease crit. Nobody cares. Vulnerable, I guess, is all right. And damage over time. Um, and rend. The 50% rend is very good, too. So we can do five pops. Oh, we 30. You know what? Could have been worse. We could have even got it in the first time. So 21. Oh, it, 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 I mean, look at it. This looks so cool. It's so nice to get a, a Rex. I mean... It's interesting to give Rexy a hybrid. So, it, I mean, not that we're saying Jurassic World is alive as canon by any stretch of the imagination, but Rexy herself. Oh, an 80 and a 50. Oh, oh that was a good one. Uh, we'll keep on going, though. Just see how, how quickly we can level this up. Uh, so we've got at least three more of these. Oh, a 50 and a 40. Oh, 140. Oh. Now, normally, 
normally, because this is a unique, I'd be like, oh yeah, that's fine. Like that, that's all right. But because this is Rexy DNA, you really need these good pops because 50 Rexy DNA is like almost impossible to get. You know what I mean? Like to even try one pop. We do 250 at a time. 250. Okay, there we go. 470. We don't really care about post Metrodon. I had a feeling I wouldn't need to worry about it. Oh, 110 that time. Very good. Okay, so I think that's level 24, 25. I'm going to assume. So let's level it up. Oh, I'm sure like the top players already have this maxed. Um, I mean, I, I could spend, I could get another like four, five, six, 700 Rexy DNA if I wanted to, uh, just by literally like spending 80 quid in the Rexy incubator and then buying the premium pass right away. I could do that. I mean, I, I'm kind of tempted to get the premium pass anyway because I wanted that flock creature. Um, and I mean, if you're going to spend money, that way is probably the best way. And I've already unlocked everything. And I kind of want the skin. Gonna lie, I, I didn't do the Rodriguez uh, or whatever it was called, Alarigus uh, event thing. And I missed out on that skin. I think I missed out on the uh, the um, the other skin that came with it. It was the free one. So we'll see. I mean, tw yeah, 25. There we go. Oh, there's a 40. Can we? I don't think we can. We've only got like two more pops. Three more pops. And we need 190. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen. I'd be very surprised if we got like a hundred. Saw the one zero there. Last thing, maybe it was a hundred. Game was being generous to me. No, <laughs> game not being generous. So yeah, ooh, even actually, to be fair, saying this now, if somebody has this at level 30 now, that is quite impressive. Yeah. I mean, look at look at what we're doing here just to get to level 26. And we're getting, look, we've got some 80s, some 40s, some 50s. Ooh, yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll, we'll quickly take a break from this guy. I, you know what it is? I want to quickly, quickly, let's go to the leaderboard, check the top player. Hey, there's IGT coming back up. There we go. Probably because the new updates fixed loads of things. Uh, and we have a level 28. Ooh, interesting. Top player has a level 28, Tyrannometrodon. IGTT is covering up their team again. Ah, you love to see it. I've actually caught them with their actual team. Uh, and I don't know why they do this. Why they're like, oh, I'm going to hide the meta. But I mean, hey, it's up to you. <laughs> I've already put in a pic because I found it. I was like, screenshot. <laughs> yeah, I found your team. Uh, no Tyrannometrodon with the... Uh, third best player. The fourth best player? No Tyranno Metrodon there. Probably because this update just kind of came up and people are probably still asleep. I'm assuming within the next 24 hours when somebody's got a good build. Oh, level 29! Level 29! Good God! Ooh! Ooh there, there's the new one! The Ankyloceratops! Already in the team. I mean, to be fair, they're top players anyway. So... Even if they put it in the team, doesn't mean it's performing well. It's just like them wanting to show it off. So, yes, that's the other creature that I wanted to check out while we are here is the Ankyloceratops. This being the unique or was supposed to be an apex in an alternative universe. This was an apex, but everyone voted for Indominus in this timeline. So, uh. what are you going to do? <laughs> so, we got, we need Triceratops Gen 2 level 20. Fine, okay, I guess. Only 70,000. Wow, I have de I have deliberately not been darting this thing. <laughs> I see it all the time. Two. Oh, wait, no, this is Triceratops. Oh, no, this isn't Gen 2. This is just Triceratops. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, there it is. A level 20 Triceratops. I'm, I'm looking forward to this new meta. I am. I really am. And what's this one? Oh. <laughs> Oh, I don't have any of these creatures. Wow. Uh, oh, well, there it is. Alanqua already at the plus. So good sign so far. Uh, what was the other one? 25,000 DNA. Well, we only need level 15. And I, the other one was... I want to I wanna say a common. <laughs> I want to say something I've got a lot of. I hope the whole one for curse. <laughs> That's what we're in a sticky situation. I think we, we can probably get this new dinosaur maxed up. I think. I think. If not, we definitely unlocked it. But we'll see. So it's level 50. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh! Where is it? Don't be silly. Of course I have the DNA for this <laughs> Yeah. Well, anyway. I saw why, why do we do demon voice? I don't know. I like to have fun with the, the, the things. It's, it's great. Uh, if only there was a way to make it so I could do the effect at the same time. 
That, that's just too much effort. <laughs> also making sure that this is recording, because last time I did a few battles and it was not recording. Okay, so we should have, even though I've never actually fused this legendary creature before, we actually have it at level 16. So that's interesting. So we'll do 250 fuses, because we Oh, why couldn't I have got that with the Indonemis? Not Indonemis, the other one. Well, actually, Indonemis, we've almost got maxed up. We're like 20 or 30 off maxing it. Uh, so I think we need this guy at level 20, but that's not an issue. Anklos, Alankylosaurus. <laughs> but I have been hating the meta. Like, I, 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 last night I was playing and I lost like three or four times in a row. And it was literally just because they had the perfect counter. It was like, oh, uh, Indonemis is in. Oh, well, here comes uh, Comsoraptor. Oh, I swap in Dilokairis. Oh, here's Indotaurus. Okay, that dies. Right, I'll swap in this. Uh, it was just every time. Like, <laughs> the game's too RNG at the moment. It, like, depending on what you pull in your hand, I think that's 50% if you're going to win or lose. It, it feels that way. So here we go. Oh, maybe Triceratops might be the one that may undo us a little bit. But here, it could have been an Apex. I feel like... Probably with all of the, um, the, uh, what was it? The participants or the, the, the creatures in the poll. Ludia probably came up with their stats, their moves and everything. Because they would have had to, right? They couldn't just put out a concept and then not have, like, an idea for it. So, it could be a case of all of the dinosaurs in the previous, uh, poll... Uh, runnings like the uh, there was an apex flock creature there. There was an apex. Um, oh well, we got the apex flyer, I think, Tyrannodactyl Valkyrie or something. It was, uh, but there was definitely a couple of other ones that were in there. I think one was a mammal, like a, a rhino of some sort, was an apex. So there's there's definitely. I, I feel like we maybe we'll just see those creatures come in, as uniques eventually. Uh, maybe they spent a lot of time and effort making them beforehand. It's highly likely. And now we just wait and... Oh, there's a 40. That's good. It's it's just this slow... It's a slow build-up. It's like a movie, you know. We don't get to see it right away. Unless it's Dominion. In which case, there's no tension and we just see the creature right away. And there it is. <laughs> Alankyloceratops. Now, I feel like this... It has a swap in invincibility. But not only does it have the swap in invincibility. I think it might do an attack. Well, that could be Trano Valkyrie had that change where it got like a 50% attack boost and also did an attack. So, Trano Valkyrie. Uh, Trano Valkyrie is definitely something we're going to see a lot more of because it just got like, it got so much health extra, like oh, six, 700 extra health. It got like 100 to 200 extra attack. It's got now a swap in attack. And now it's the only creature that can make you switch. It's not up to like you to switch your, your I was going to say Pokemon, your dinosaurs. I can now choose to switch yours. So there it is. Yes, Alankloceratops. Beautiful. Now it's, I'm kind of interested and I'll, I'll not know what to do with it right away. But uh, within the next couple of days, we're going to see the meta completely change. Right, okay, so you have the group resilience strike. Nah. Uh, you have a stunning rampage. I mean, it's a good base move. Stunning rampage, highest HP, 75% uh, chance to stun. Again, like, you know what I mean? Like, 75% chance to resist, 75% chance to do it. If you do get stunned, it feels bad. Get rid of it, Ludin. Uh, dragon's flight. You cleanse yourself, shield for four, four attacks. You heal 100% of damage stat. What? What? Right off the bat, you can just heal yourself. It's not priority. Um, also, it, heals, it attacks all opponents. Yay! That's a good one in my book. And it does damage over time. Oh, it's an anti-flock. It's an anti-flock. Flocks are gone. You spent your... Or at least a lot of them are gone. If you get this thing, you get the... You got Rexy. You got the Tyranno Metrodon. I, I'm finding it hard to see how flocks are going to survive against a team of that. Uh, invincible alert. So if you're secure... 100% uh, shield for 8 attacks. Let's be honest, but they're going to switch in something that's going to break the shield. Higher speed, remove speed increase, and dodge and cloak. Oh. Uh. Dodge and cloak! Indotaurus is gone. Uh, threatened. Uh, so what happens if you're threatened? Uh, you reduce the speed for 50%, but you don't get rid of their dodge and cloak. So it's better to have full health. And this is it, invincible heal. So when you swap in... You get 100% shield for 8 attacks, and you heal yourself a little bit. You are 50% uh, stun resistant, 50% damage resistant, and 100% speed resistant. 
And, oh, 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 damn. I feel, oh, I'm feeling the 250. Oh, I can't even do a 250. I can do a, I can just do a hundred pops. Is that everything? 50,000? Yeah, that's all my Triceratops DNA. If we just do a hundred pops. You know what? Uh, let's just do another 250 pops of this. Oh, there's one go. Oh, that would have been good. That would have been good to get the other one. Uh, should we do, I mean, whenever we can do a hundred unique pop. Why not, right? Why not? I can't even do another 250 of this one. All right, here we go. Can we do a hundred now? Yes, we can. Oh, cross, cross our fingers, cross our toes. 80 is the best we got. You know what's not bad? There's some good ones here. How much did we get? 2,230. Get the feeling that's probably 25 or 26. But then again, we can do a couple more, uh, saying that we need Triceratops DNA now. You know what? Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to ask for some Triceratops DNA, please. <laughs> I was like, I could ask for Postosuchus DNA, but it's the Rexy I need for that. Okay, wh where are you, son? You're over here somewhere. You've ju you're like the lowest unique I've got. Come on. See, that's the other one. The Stiggy... Stiggyakadrix or whatever it's called. Here it is. Right, okay. So let's just fuse and see what we can get. It has 40% armor. Very good. Again, unless something's got... I mean, a lot of things do have the armor piercing thing. But sometimes they may have used that move on something else. So I don't think Ref has anything that goes through armor. So this thing can resist the damage over time. It can heal itself. It's a ref killer. It, and it's got shield. And ref can't do anything against shield. So the bleed, the armor, the shield, it kills ref outright. 25! Here we go! Oh, what can we get? How many more go? Whoop! 27 East Peas. Maybe 28. Maybe I don't need a fuse anymore. But, you know, you never know. I could always go for a little bit more tricep. Oh, went 27! I think we might be 28. We've almost got this thing maxed. A decent amount of health as well. I think we're up to level 28. And next, if next was 500, 29. 29, exactly. Oh, that was gorgeous. To a level 29, 6,251 and 100 and well, 1,389 attack. 100 be awful. Uh, now, how many pops can we do? We'll do five more pops of these. Oh, it's 60. Oh, so that's already 100. 170 on top of that. I think we're gonna do one more. Another 20. Yeah. Okay. So we're not we're not gonna max this thing up just yet. We're almost there. And then at that point, it's just about putting the boosts in the right locations. Um, so we're gonna keep it as that. But first, secondly, I think what we'll do is I will quickly jump into this. We'll get the premium, and then we get extra 300 Rexy DNA, which is what like six pops. I got nine 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 out of nine 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 nine. <laughs> okay, so there's the coin. I don't really need the coin. Or super lion. Don't really need that. Do need that, however, because this it could be an interesting flock. However, I feel like now with you know the new hybrids that came out, flocks so or you're gonna have to be a little bit more choosy when it comes to flocks. There's 300 Rexy DNA, and then this is the interesting one. Another 200 of this. That in its own I don't need data. Who cares about that? But now, actually, yeah, we got loads of stuff to collect now. We got, oh, there's another. We'll collect the Rexy first before we collect everything. I'll have to remember to go back in here, uh, you know, but just in case I forget. Because I, I don't think I will. Um, but we'll collect some of that as well. That's a good creature. Keep that level 25. Another 50 Rexy. Oh, that's 400 Rexy. See, not only do have I got the 300 Rexy right off the bat, but I've also got all of this DNA. And it's, it's the best way to go. And I feel like... You know, if Ludia's going to make pay, pay to win, or at least if you're going to spend money, make it worth your while, this is the best way to go about it, I feel anyway. Rather than, you know, like, oh, here's just an incubator which gives you one specific dinosaur. At least with this way, you're getting your audience to engage with the game a bit more, and it's more rewarding, you know? At least you you feel like you've kind of earned that in a way. And there's a... Oh, never mind, 150, Rexy! Why 620? Why have we got such an odd number? Oh, there it is. The Brood skin. So have we got this guy unlocked? Of course we do, yes. And then the Brood, yes. Okay, so we got loads more rewards to collect from that. But where are you? Where are you? There you are, yes. So we've got a load more. I mean, if we really wanted to, if we really friggin' wanted to, we could even buy the 400 DNA Rex, which would give us eight more pops. Oh, wait, I should have done the, the five. Oh, God, no, these are horrible. Oh, no. 
You know, if you do the multiple pops, it should, like, guarantee you a minimum of extra DNA. You know, it should do. Like, worst case scenario, we get 50 here. Oh, 130. We got more than double it. Boom. That's a level 26 Rexy. Uh, Rex Tyrannometrodon. And another five. That one, not so good. Only an 80 with that one. That's a bugger. That stings a little bit because now it's going to you know, cost even more. And we will need some post super DNA. So there is level 26. What, kind of what they wanted at. Level 26 is the level that, you know, stats are flat around the board. But then again, I always, I'd never understand that. Just make a 30. Make 30 be the nice one. Why 26? <laughs> uh, so it has no armor. I've just realized that. But a 35% chance to crit, which is a bit shocking because Rexy has 45 uh, post Metrodon, uh, I guess it doesn't have any armor. You would think that Tyranno Metrodon would have armor because it's got like the scales on its back, but hey ho, here we are, armorless indeed. Armorless are we? Oh yeah, also, here's a Pyroraptor Gen 2. Oh, I haven't. <laughs> that was interesting. I jump at the tire and go, wee! <laughs> and then this is probably just the Raptor animations. Yeah, I feel like those are the Raptor animations. Yeah, okay, cool. Like, you know what? It looks prettier, at least, than the one in Dominion, I suppose. Uh, so that's a new creature. Also, we have Tiger here. So somebody's already managed to unlock it. Is this going to be the same? Oh, 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 it doesn't want to play. Oh, look at that. That's the true Trosseraptor. See, it didn't have the thing pointed at it, so it didn't pay it any attention. I like it. Does the goat have a laser pointed at it? Oh, come on. You've got, like, all your Trosseraptors. You could have give them... You know, a little bit of a unique animation. That would have been interesting. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Well, whatever. <laughs> Who am I to judge, you know? It's, it's more time than ever we spend on other things. Oh, yeah. We got the, the new Thylos Intrepidus. I don't know how good this thing is. Ooh, I like the colors. I prefer this these colors than the, uh, the new skin I got. Oh, actually, no. They look like honey badgers. Yes, we'll keep that one. <laughs> Sweet. This is the thought, right? Ankylos looks... Maybe doesn't have a spot anymore. I feel like the spot is gonna go to the Draco or the Tricera, whatever. Yes. And the other Rexy, maybe Ref isn't as good anymore. Uh, you know what? Because we need um, Ref just to get through cloaks, to hit all of the, uh, some flocks, I'm gonna switch out Dio for the new Tyranno. Now, we'll do a couple of battles with this. They're not, they're gonna be unboosted, so it'll be interesting to see how they are. Also, look, we're so close to a level 30. So, so close. And I do need to go over the rest of my team just to like work out the kinks, maybe a few little attack boosts here, little health boosts there. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. And I'm, I'm not gonna like look at the top player and just see what they've done. At this point, I feel like if you put boosts on now, it's, it's a little bit premature because things are going to change. And the meta, like, we haven't even seen Erlikosaurus, which has now crazy attack damage and buffs and stuff. People aren't using that. So when that gets found out, then we really need to see what this new meta is all about. Also, Scorpions! Like, the next raid's on Thursday. Well, next Thursday, and we'll do the Scorpion raid. So I can't wait for that either. That's going to be awesome. Okay, Gyrosphere, this is it. This is where we test our might. Uh, oh, never mind. We didn't get it. Oh, he's not happy with that. <laughs> oh, look, it's an endangered bear. Oh, dear. Oh, there's the crit. No, there it goes. <laughs> Come on. Give me one of the new ones at least. Nope. Why? You're dead. What, wait, what are you doing? Like, what, what game are you playing where you think you're going to win this one? You're dead next turn after this. Does it go rampage and run? Doesn't matter whether you go for a speed increase. here. Now, is it a good starter offer? It doesn't even have 5,000 health, man. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good starter. We'll start with Indianemis. So, Indianemis is a good one to start off with. Oh, yeah. Ooh, would it have been good against Indianemis? I, I don't know, actually. It, wow, this one's lower level than me, but faster. Intra 133 speed. I feel like I've seen a couple of 133 speeds. In this case, I actually think it's better for 
Oh, he just went for a regular hit. Ah, interesting. Okay. He's going to go for his uh, other one next turn. Oh, you went through my damn cloak. That's not fair. <laughs> right, so then he's going to cleanse himself this turn. Ooh, okay, okay. Um... Should I just like go for a big hit? You know, he's got a cloak, but if I if I get through, he's dead. But if I don't get through, I get some health back, and then I'll just switch out to Comsoraptor, right? Like, that's the only way to be in the enemies is to to use flocks, right? So let's see. He got through my cloak. Do I get through his cloak? Of course I don't. Of course I don't. Of course I don't. We're stupid. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. That's not fair. Of course this game's not fair. It's rigged. So, well, it gives me 800 extra health. He gets his 900. And then I can just swap out. Like, what What else was I going to do here? Of course I was going to swap out. I'm not going to let him just do a massive hit on me <laughs> and get loads of health. Like, he should have predicted that. I love how it goes in front of me here. That's interesting. Uh, the way, like, the layers work. Like, the cloak's in front of all. And, like, it's like a Photoshop layer. It's on top of everything. Um, so, yeah. Now we're going to do this. He's going to do his... Maybe he'll do his swap out. Ooh, that'd be... I don't think he will. I think he'll just want to gain health back. Uh, let's see. No, he slows me down. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I'm immune to that. Um, I mean, we could go for this. I mean, he can't get his cloak back. Oh, it's... Oh, that's on... Yeah, it's cooldown three. So, yeah, he's not getting his cloak back. We'll do this one. And then he may even swap now. He may do his big hit and then swap and then he dies. Or he'll just do a Healy. If he does a Healy, that's good for me. Because that means the next turn, I can get back up to two flock instead of being down to one. Oh, he does. Okay, well, fair dues. He gets me down to one. He does die. I can't lock him out. So whatever comes in is going to attack me. But we'll see what that thing is. But it's go I'm glad Indonemies is out. Oh, never mind. I never get how that works. Okay, right. Cool. Um, yeah, that's going to hurt me. So, like, what's the best thing here? I don't even think Rexy's good against this thing. I mean, I'm not confident enough. I'll definitely use it before I die. That's for sure. Um, did we get the stun? Oh, would have been a feels bad if I did. So there it is. There's the big hit. Um, what I can do now is go for a cloak. Hopefully survive. It'll be a push. I, do, I mean, I do have 30% armor, and if I if he gets to the cloak, I'm, I've died, obviously. I just want... Oh, yeah, I've definitely died. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, well, you never know. He might, he might not. He, he's got to go for his biggest hit. Uh, either way, I don't think he's faster than my Comsoraptor. Oh, and I've slowed him down as well. Actually, this works out really well, because then I can just get the the one back, can't I? Oh, please kill me. Oh, thank God. <laughs> please do. Because now I can get the Comsoraptor in. He can't swap out because if he swaps out, he takes a big hit. And he's still... I think it's cooldown of three, isn't it? Yeah, so it's dead. It's it's pretty much dead. There's nothing you can do. If I was him, I'd maybe... If I had like a Paratops or an Alberta Servia swap in now. Otherwise, he's lost his uh, ref. He's lost his ref. Okay, so there's the big hit. In comes anything. Because I'm going to lose one anyway. And then next turn, he's also lost. So I may as well just get... I could get a Rampage and Run. Oh, if I do Rampage and Run, we could switch into Rexy. Yeah, let's do it. Whoa, let's get Rexy in. What should we lose now? <laughs> Come on, Toronto. Hello. Oh, it's imperative. Just, just, just. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about him. I was too excited. You had that. You should have swapped, you fool. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, what are you going to go for here? What are you going to go for? Uh, I mean, I may as well. May as well just, like, if I get the stun. Oh, I do! Feels bad. I'm not happy I got that stun because he's got a resistance of 75% chance. Uh, so now he's lost that. I can... Ooh. I can go for this. Yeah, just... He has to do that, yeah. He has to. And I think... Oh, I don't... Oh, oh, now big damage because it's not revenge. Oh, oh, no, you hate to see it. Oh, it's bad, it's bad. And it comes to bleed. I kind of want to... I'm going to... I'm going to win. No, I don't want to win. No. Ah. You know what? Oh, man. 
you think if you think he'll go for his priority? What do you think he'll go for here? Oh no! I want to use Rexy. I, I, you know what? I think I pretty much won this. At least we get to see it. Toronto man, Oh, why is it so zoomed out? Yeah, here it comes. This is what I was worried about. Oh, and it's a crit. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> well played, good sir. Well played. <laughs> Might as well get some health back. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything in swap it. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's locked in. Yeah, it doesn't matter. There you go. And it's there. Watch it swap in now. Watch it. You boogie, I was going to say. <laughs> well, there you go. We saw Tomato Metro done. <laughs> I don't know if there was a... I mean, I don't know if there's a way to use it without losing... But, I mean, let's do one more and actually see what it can do. <laughs> Yay, finally! Oh my god, I've waited this freaking long. I kind of want to start with it, but if I start with it, then it might just die. I mean, what what does it do straight away? Uh, it has nothing that takes a delay except for decimating thingy. The rest is kind of just like group heal and then maybe a tyrant's roar. Increased speed by 25%, but it's not a priority. I'll just start with Imperatus. Oh, we, again, we'll definitely use it. Um, uh, Indotaurus. Interesting. Okay. Well, I think the best thing to do here, because that's obviously going to go for a cloak, uh, is just to maybe get the stun. I mean, what's his chance to resist? 50% chance. It's literally a, a coin flip here. Because he's got his cloak for two turns. Um, I think he's, he's sped reduced for three. So I can do my... Yep. Take that. And 50%. Let's flip that coin. I could just go for a hit now and do some damage to him, but I can pretty much kill him with something else next turn. So, uh, I may as well... Let's let's flip that coin! Da -da 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 -da! Da -da -da cool. Sweet. <laughs> uh, technically, yeah. I mean, it didn't really make too much of a difference, I suppose. Oh, he's quicker anyway. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Should have just went for the hit. Should have just went for the hit. Okay. Um, I have to. I have to die. Like if I swap that to Ref, he's just gonna go for a big hit on something. Um, I don't have a priority except with Rexy, so I may as well. It's the Rexy combo team. May as well go for it. He swaps out. He dies. He might as well just stay in and just take the hit. Yeah. Okay. He thinks. Oh, he's got a level three Rexy. It's not too uncommon to see, but the Tyrannometrodon is uncommon to see. Oh, that'll be interesting. Be like, another one? He's got level 30 and that? <laughs> oh, it's a ref. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna go for his 50% damage reduction? I feel like he might. Oh. Oh, he's just going for that one. Well, I think both are 50% damage reduction, technically. Uh, oh, well, anyway, big hit. Um, all right, let's heal. And now, now he's gonna go for his, his biggest of biggest hits. Um, so that's 442, but then we heal 558, yes! You know what I can do? I'm gonna do big brain play! I'm gonna do big brain play! We're gonna run a Metrodon! Okay, I don't know why it zoomed out. Hopefully we survive this. We do have, like... Oh, we have no armor. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny! I thought, like, if we had armor, we'd have survived that. So, my plan was to take that hit, and then... And then, and then, have gone for my priority. Because if I'm threatened, my roar gets an alert and I heal myself. But because I didn't have enough health, uh, I couldn't tank the hit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's died from this. If he hasn't, he's pretty close to it. Yep, no revenge. Don't care about the no revenge. Don't get the crit. And he does survive. Ah, well, either way, I only get my attack and my speed boost for one more turn. <laughs> <gasps> That's not fair. Well, I'll save my bigot for next one. I think I still have it for next turn. My attack increase. I do. Okay. Let's see what he's got. Don't trap me in with a flock. Don't do it. Don't. No! <laughs> well, actually, it's not so bad. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, what, worst case scenario, what he, he would go for... What does he have right off the bat? He has alert peck right off the bat. He could have got that. He's probably going to go for Fear Strike, I think, the first one. Uh, but we remove his attack increase, or any increase he had, I think. Yes. So now he does 2,000. 
It, oh, he went for a low pack, which we're resistant to. <gasps> oh, he didn't. Oh, he bet. I bet he wishes he went for the other move now. Uh, so we'll just go for this big hit. And then, oh, it's interesting, actually. It depends what he's got. It's, it's such a shame. So, yeah, Tyranno, at the, at the point it's at, it's not good. It's not good. Man. <laughs> Very not good. Um, ah, it would have been so cool to have seen. That's what you, you would have done there, though. This technically shouldn't work because he, yeah, he's, he, yeah, okay. He's still quicker. Um, so he's probably going to go for his cunning rampage, which would kill me. But I, I'm going to have to try and reduce it a little bit. Um, I think he probably will still kill me. Yes, he's definitely, 4,008, yeah, he's definitely still going to kill me. So GG, well done. But I think I would have won if I had had my Tyranno Metrodon high enough level to tank that hit and then get the cool, like, you know, get the health back, priority, and then kill it. I would, and speed boost. That would have been really cool. However, didn't have enough health to tank it. <laughs> oh, well, we have to, don't we? We, we kind of have to. If, if the game's giving us... Tyranno Metrodon, we, we have to. But we'll start with comps around. <laughs> oh, and the, oh, a new gem and a titan. Yes. All opponents, 4,344 damage. I love it. Go for it. Kill me, please. Or you could go for your... Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter which one you go for. Oh, no, yeah, you should. go. Don't go for your group. Go for definite shield. That's new for you. Come on. You got it. I believe in you. Yeah. Now, it normally wouldn't have had that. But because of the recent update, it does. Which actually makes Gemini... Wait, it doesn't target all opponents? Oh. Oh, that's no fun. Ah. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think at this point, we'll just swap to Rexy. Uh, tank the hit. And then just go for a big one. Because at this point, Rexy and Comsoraptor, I need Comsoraptor more than I need Rexy. Because I've got the other Tyranno. Uh, I could have even swapped in. <gasps> That's what I should have done. I should have swapped in. Because um, then we would have been able to do a priority. <gasps> that would have been great. I'll go for my priority anyway. May as well do it, right? Get the speed boost. Because the chances are he may even switch. Knowing that I've got the Comsoraptor. However, he doesn't. So there's that. Yeah, I don't know why it's it look the Toronto Metrodon. Why this? Why is the camera zoomed out? I get less of a nice view of it. Interesting though. I do like that he he tried to do something different. Um, now chances are he's gonna go for his priority here. So with that in mind, I'm just gonna swap out to Comsoraptor. He's not gonna go for his revenge uh, thing here. I'd be very surprised if he did. And even if he did, he's not doing as much damage as he should normally. Also, I was going to say, I should heal. So he goes, yeah, there it is. Easy predicted. Right, so next attack, he'll go, oh, we got a crit. Oh, it still didn't kill me. Good God. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. It only, it only did just 200 damage. Uh, yeah, this, this guy's, it's not looking good for him. I will admit, not looking good for him at all here. And he actually, well, he could get away if he wanted to. Uh, he will die in doing so. But he could if he wanted to. So I'm just going to stay in in case he wants to swap out. But now we're, we're, in, we're in good position to get a win and also Tyranno Metrodon. Oh, no. No, I feel like with the, the attack boosts and everything, this thing could... Oh, I don't like it. No, me not like it. Because <laughs> I'm going to kill it and I don't want to kill it. Please don't. Oh, good. Yes. All right. The only problem is that it's going to have so much attack now. I think I have to die. Uh, let's see. So 4,100. I have to die here. Yes, I have to die. Yes. Okay, he's saving his biggest hit. I don't know why. So he's got a 4,100. Okay. In comes Toronto Metrodon. Can we get a... Welcome to Rano Metrodon! Okay, so what could we go for here? We could go for a cleanse. Uh, yeah, sure. That's the best we could do. We don't have enough attack to kill it in one. <laughs> oh, he gets a crit! Are you kidding me? What? What are the chances? <laughs> Every time! No way! This is so sad! <laughs> Oh, come on. 
but you couldn't have given me the one time it had a chance to shine. Okay, yeah, we're still going to get the win. But it does look like, however, uh, we're going to have to wait until a couple of days time and then we can put more boosts on it. I think that's what I'm going to do. But in theory, if it is boosted, it could have done some cool things. But I don't have it boosted or max level. So, yes. <laughs> but we still it just didn't do anything. <laughs> you can't make it up. That's pretty. I love it. I love it. Well, anyway, guys, thank you so much for uh, sticking with me. I mean, I've, I've shown you what it could do if it had the chance. It's a shame that it doesn't have priority right away, but it does mean that kind of like it's a delayed priority because you'll definitely be below half health on the second turn and you will get priority then. Um, but it just feels like if you get priority on the second turn when you're lower health, you want to go, you want to be faster and then have priority. But anyway, and th th that's the way it is. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. We'll make another video in a couple days time when the meta is sort of surfaced and we'll just see how good it is. And I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye